Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm sure you could tell by the sound of my voice and by the puffiness of my eyes, my face, and my glands, I'm still sick. I am not 100%. To be honest, I'm surprised I'm feeling this good, even though it's been a week. When I get sick, I usually get sick forever, and I mean forever. Um, so this is actually fast progress for me. I was hoping to get videos out uh, last week for this week, but it just didn't happen. So moving forward, just so you guys know, um, I will be doing the 22nd to the 28th videos this week, and I will try to get back on board with doing the daily readings every day. All right, so just give me some time. I'm still really slow. You can tell I'm still kind of messed. I'm still kind of fucked up. I'm still kind of jacked. Um, I also haven't gotten to my emails yet. All right, so I'm getting to those. If you've emailed me and you haven't heard a response, that's why I've been in a coma for, for the last like seven to 10 days, whenever it is. I got sick. It's all been a blur. It's all been one big fat blur. Okay, so please keep that in mind. I'm going slow. I'm putting out content, but please subscribe so you guys don't miss out on anything. Once I'm 100%, I'm going to be a lot more consistent, I promise. <laughs> so bear with me if I have to stop and cough or have some water <laughs> mm. or anything of the like. All right, so let's get started with my Capricorns. Any messages for my Capricorns in love October 26th, 22nd to the 28th? Oh, I don't know why it's the 26th. Maybe something's happening on the 26th for y'all. I don't know. Uh, October 22nd to the 28th. Any messages for my Capricorns in love October 22nd to the 28th? Any messages for my Capricorns in love, October 22nd to the 28th. Hopefully it's better than whatever I've been going through because obviously I've been in a coma for most of October so far. Any messages for my Capri- oh! The tower card wanted to come out. I'll leave that out. Can't tell what's good or bad yet, guys, sorry. Any messages for my Capricorns, October 22nd to the 28th. Any messages for my Capricorns? 22nd to the 28th. Any messages from my Capricorn? It's 22nd to the 28th. It feels really big, whatever it was, whatever that tower moments were for alluding to. It feels really big. Please, any messages from my Capricorns in love? The 22nd to the 28th of October. Any messages from my Capricorns in love? 22nd to the 28th of October. Oh. <laughs> I don't mean to make such big reactions, guys. I'm sorry. Also, I'll probably sound a little wheezy, just letting you guys know whatever. If you guys are like, what's that weird underlying tone? It's it's wheezy. <laughs> it's me wheezing. Okay. Now, overall energy we have is the Nine of Pentacles here. So usually when Nine of Pentacles is in reverse, this is, um for me, this is someone who doesn't have self-confidence. But I'm feeling more like this is someone who doesn't want to be single. Okay. <laughs> For some of you, it might be a lack of self-confidence or a lack of self-reassurance here, a uh, lack of self-abundance, not really having a lot of things that you find passionate or happy in your life or that make you feel very secure and stable. You're kind of lacking that. Um, but there's definitely an energy of someone doesn't want to be single here. Okay, that's overall someone doesn't want to be single. And there was a tower moment. Okay, <laughs> there's a really big tower moment here. Um... If it hasn't happened already, it's happening in the beginning of the week, beginning around like the, between the 22nd and the 24th, like when Oct when Scorpio season happens. And it's funny, you know, this is a Scorpio card. This might just be alluding to some change that's going to be happening because Scorpio season is starting. It's all Scorpio season is all about change and transformation. So that could be what it is, because I definitely feel like it's the beginning of the week if you haven't had a big tower moment already. But change is coming. Change is happening. All right. Now, whether you want change or not. Sorry, guys. It's happening. It's, about, it's a part of life. That's just how it goes. <coughs> now with the Tower card, we also have Karma in Reverse, which is also the Judgment card. I'm using the Witch's Tarot deck. So if you guys aren't familiar with that deck, it, it's it's the same exact deck as the Rider. Um, there's only a couple changes. So instead of the Karma card, it's the Judgment card, right? Uh, instead of the Shadow side, it's the Devil. Instead of the High Priest, it's the... Um, it's the Hierophant, right? Okay, so back to the reading. Bring it back, guys. Bring it back, Capricorns. Don't don't lose me. All right, so Karma in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. We have Five of Wands in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priest Hierophant in reverse here. And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Cappies. This feels like a lot. <laughs> Okay, this feels like a lot has happened, a lot has gone on, and it, I think it's kind of leaving you guys feeling the need for some change. I think that, the, like, 
I'm not seeing a whole lot of change here other than the tower card, but that's kind of what I'm sensing. I'm feeling like, okay, I've had enough. Tap out. I'm tapping out. I, I need a change. I need a change. I can't do this anymore. Like, that's how it's feeling. Like, I tap out. I give in. I give in. So, the two of wands in reverse here um, almost feels like you are really struggling to make a choice. Like someone someone put you in a tough situation. You didn't put yourself here. Because this doesn't feel like a wanted path of like of having a crossroads. This feels more like, how did I get here? <laughs> Sorry. That's really how it feels. Like, how the hell did I get here? How did I get here? And what what is what are these bullshit choices I have to make? Like you like really like that's how it's feeling. Like you worked really hard through a situation. It definitely feels like in a partnership and shit hit the fan and they put you in a tough spot and you're like, what the fuck? Like this, this shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. Five of Wands in reverse. That's conflict. Total conflict and chaos. Conflict and chaos is all I'm sensing from that. And I think it's part of whatever puts you here in this two of wands in reverse situation. Three of Pentacles putting in too much work. Like I said, you guys, like, you, you've you worked really hard on whatever this is, and you're, like, you're, you guys are kind of done. You're, like, again, I just keep hearing, like, I'm, like, I give, I give. Urkel, Urkel, I give up, I, I give in, I can't do this anymore. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any of the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, sometimes this is considered the divorce card, the breakup card. I don't see it that way. I see it as a choice of commitment, all right? You see, like, the two keys here at the top. In reverse, it's about a choice of commitment for me, because those two keys just always stick out to me. Like, I'm at a stalemate, I don't know what to do. Right, I'm at this crossroads, and I don't know what to do. In a commitment, and I don't know what to do about it. All right, and Seven of Swords is usually deception. I'm not sensing that. I'm almost seeing, like, seeing things differently, approaching things differently, trying to do things differently in the way that you haven't tried them before. Okay? Um still sensing this like need for change though whatever the situation is you have grown incredibly tiresome of it incredibly tiresome of it and you're done with the conflict you're done with the chaos you're done feeling confused um and you're recognizing a need for change <coughs> excuse me hmm i'm gonna clarify the two wands and the tower and we should get a better sense of what happens here Clarify the two of wands in reverse for my Capricorns in love from the 22nd to the 28th. Please clarify the two of wands in reverse for my Capricorns in love from the 22nd to the 28th. And then I'm going to blow my nose. <laughs> I won't do it on camera, I promise. <laughs> Please clarify two of wands in reverse for my Capricorns in love, 22nd to the 28th. Yeah, it's like I keep getting that sense of like, how the fuck did I get here? Clarify two of wands in reverse. Please clarify two of wands in reverse for my Capricorns in love, October 22nd to the 28th. Anything else? No. I swore it did. Oh, interesting. Got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, the Capricorn card. Okay. Oh, underneath is the devil, the other Capricorn card. I'm gonna leave this out here with the Queen of Pentacles. I usually don't do that, but I'm feeling compelled to. Yeah, something became really toxic, and you recognize something was really toxic, and being in that Two of Wands situation where it was like, shit, what do I do? I'm in this situation with this person, and it's creating a toxic situation, but I really want to stay. I love them. How do I How do I move forward? I can't. You got the Eight of Wands here attached to it, okay? I can't. How do I move forward? I can't. I can't. I can't. And it seems like you've tried to talk to this person a lot. It seems like you've tried to work it out with them to try to move forward to get past this um, trapped, devil, oppressive energy. It's like some of you might even been might even have been oppressed by your lover here, okay? And recognizing that you need to change something about yourself to stop, attra to stop attracting those people. Um, <clears throat> dealing with someone who's also really greedy. Someone who's really greedy. And not with possessions, with time. Like Almost like they're too greedy about being with you. <laughs> like they don't want to share you with anybody. <laughs> like, bam, go hang out with the girls. Why? 
<laughs> you are, why aren't you spending time with me? Why aren't you staying with me? Like, that's kind of how it feels here. Like, someone's almost very needy. But in, like, a really unhealthy, dysfunctional, beyond codependent. Like, almost like abandonment issues. Um, but very oppressive. Very, very oppressive, whoever you're, you were dealing with here. And it could have been another Capricorn. You got double caps here. Um, but whatever that toxicity was, you've recognized it. And you want to change it or get away from it. And I'm sensing most of you are going to just get away. <laughs> They're like, I'm going to run away. Bye. I'm done. Okay. Uh, let me blow my nose. And then I'm going to clarify this tower card. Okay. Hold on, guys. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, thanks for bearing with me. Let's clarify the tower card. Please clarify this tower card for Capricorns in love, 22nd to the 28th. Please clarify the tower card for my Capricorns in love, 22nd to the 28th of October. Please clarify the tower card for my Capricorns in love, October 22nd to the 28th of October. Yeah, I mean, especially with the karma card in reverse here, guys. I mean, this is such a recurring problem, and you guys are like, I can't, I'm done. Like, there, I don't, you, I don't even sense you guys really have a strong sense of reconciliation with this person. I don't think you guys are broken up if you guys haven't broken up already. For those of you that are still with this person, I think you're re realizing. Even if you tried really hard to work on things, if that toxicity is still there, it's like there's no reconciliation possible. It's just not possible. Please clarify the tower card. Sorry, guys. One more shuffle. It still feels like a very heavy card. Okay. Please clarify the tower card for my Capricorns in love. October 22nd to the 28th. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> that one piece, like, I don't know why, like, there's a little chunk of my hair that grows faster than the rest of my head, and it's very annoying. It always makes my haircuts last, like, not even two weeks. Okay. Please clarify the tower card for my Capricorns in love, October 22nd to the 28th. Please clarify the tower card for my Capricorns in love, October 22nd to the 28th. Huh. Oh, okay. All right. So very interesting. So to clarify the tower, we have five of, five of swords in reverse here to clarify this tower moment. So this is like, this is loss, sadness, um, feelings of like defeat. But in a minute. weird claiming why am I hearing claiming um <coughs> excuse me guys I'm just getting weird things off this card here claiming yourself it's like usually this is about defeat or declaring defeat over somebody but this is I'm feeling it's more about the self how can you declare yourself, though? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to be a little slow because I'm not 100%. Um, this oppressive person that left you feeling really trapped, really oppressed, and was very kind of like... Uh, selfish with your time like not really didn't really like that you spent time with other people really preferred you to spend time with them you're claiming yourself back okay there's no defeat here like no one defeated you they didn't defeat you you didn't defeat them it's more like you just kind of let them take too much control for a while and again it could be vice versa it could be the other person feels that way about you cappies or again you guys, you guys know your own situations. I don't need to explain all your situations to you, okay? <laughs> um, this definitely feels like you have this realization that change needs to happen, so you're claiming your life back, all right? You're claiming yourself back. Like, I am important, my time is important, and my sanity is important, and I don't need to do this anymore, okay? You're letting go. We, the cards that came out here to clarify the tower, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? So you're letting go, but because this Wheel of Fortune's in reverse, it hasn't come to full fruition yet. So like I said, I feel like a lot of you have already come to this realization, but 
now you're actually letting go of this toxic shit and you're actually claiming back your life and getting control back of your time and yourself and what makes you happy but you're not there yet you're almost there you're almost there cappy some of you a small percentage have already gotten past this but mm. but the major collective has not okay major collective has not so I'm sorry that this person was so horrible and like made life so burdensome and so stressful, like unnecessarily stressful, but you guys have realized what happened here, okay? You guys realize the toxic controlling person that you were with and you guys are changing that. Like you're realizing that there's something about you that attracted this person and it's not a first time that you've experienced a relationship with a person like this. You've been in this situation before and you're realizing I need to change shit I can't keep attracting this person. I need to go off, be alone, let this shit go, reclaim my life, reclaim my time, reclaim myself, and figure out why this happened. <laughs> figure out how the hell I got here, how in the hell I let this person be so oppressive and be so controlling with my own time and my life. It's like, <coughs> I need to figure out how I, have that, how I let that happen. All right, and that's good, Cappies. It's good to realize those things. I mean, that's how we learn. That's how we grow. And that's how we attract the people in our lives that we need to be, that we can be with. That will make us happy and actually be there for us. All right? So this is a good reading. I know it feels crappy. But <laughs> and don't forget, Scorpio season brings a lot of change. <clears throat> Sorry, bear with me, guys. Um, but just know that that's, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. All right? It's bringing you clarity. And anytime you're working on yourself... Regardless of who you are or what your situation is or what your sign is, it's always an awesome thing to work on yourself. Amazing things change and happen when we have self-progression and self-growth. Okay, so Cappies, that was your weekly love reading from October 22nd to the 28th. Thank you for bearing through my sickness and my wheeziness and my <laughs> my coldness, whatever you want to call it. Um, so please keep your eye out for more videos and more daily readings as I get closer to 100% I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content all right guys so thanks again for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys later bye